So have you ever asked yourself the question, what would happen if you stuck a buttload of rockets on the Titanic? Well, if you haven't, I'm gonna answer it right now. Because Floating Sandbox has seen a brand new update and if you guys are excited, hit that thumbs up button and let's jump in. So we have the rocket update here in Floating Sandbox and folks, we have a rocket. What? Now, ignore the whole fact that the rocket may or may not have... Oh, jeez, I just created a spike. Oh, yeah, I think we just destroyed the rocket. Hold on. It's fine. I can fix that. Yeah, ignore the whole fact that the rocket may or may not have a couple holes in it. I'm sure everything's going to be okay. So, all we've got to do... We can up the uh, the rocket thrusters here. There we go. You know, I should probably just use the hotkeys for these instead of not doing them all manually. And check this out. We're going to space. Turn on the lights. This is absolutely awesome. I don't know why they added these, but I'm happy they did. Are we getting blown over? Is that because of the the holes or is it because of the wind? I kind of wonder how much the wind... Wow, this is not fast at all. Hold on. Maybe I need to correct this thing. Oh, no, hold on. Left thrust. All right. Point it back up, please. Komodo's totally not going to increase the wind a little bit just to see what happens. Is this affecting it? Oh, it is. Uh, oh, hold on. Make it go this way. Well, it's not affecting it too bad. Also, I swear they've added horror music to the uh, the background. Uh, as you can see, we are about to crash back down into the ocean. Um, This is the default rocket the game came with. Why is this not flying right? Okay. So yes, the rockets do uh, burn out when they hit the water. Uh, that's definitely a thing. Well, I guess we're just gonna go down to the bottom of the ocean here. So. I would say launch number one of the Komodo space program was a smashing success, and we should probably attempt this again. You know, at this point, I'm not really sure why I'm not in control of NASA. All right, here we go. Control one, two, three. All right, let's slowly come up all the way together, uh, somewhat together. Okay, this is a little bit closer this time. Okay, so the uh, the engines are at full now. Maybe just maybe we weren't quite there yet. Maybe it was the hole. Hold on, I need some physics probes here. Let's uh, get some data. Okay, physics. Um, we're calculating. Hold on, what about down here by the uh, the rocket? Is that actually hot? So I've got another question to ask. What if I were to slice this rocket down the middle here? Let's go. Yoink. Uh, does it separate? And nope. Oh. Hey, would you look at that? Uh, hold on. Maybe we need to just shed some weight. It's not going up fast enough. Yoink. Oh, there we go. All right, so that piece of the rocket's going up. The rest of it's falling down to the earth. So here's a question. How do these actually work in game? Well, I do have another creation. Oh, we can hook these up to planes too. That's a good idea. So I have an airboat. I had an airboat. I think I need to reset the, uh, the world real quick. So I have an airboat here. This will actually show us what it looks like on the water opposed to just going straight into the air because obviously if we stick these on like the Titanic or something, that's what we're going to need. So you got engine thrust. It can push the boat. Wait, what's the booster for? Oh, is it just like an extra one? Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, dude, that is actually fairly efficient. I feel like you're going to need a lot of rockets to push the Titanic though. Here we go. Tsunami time. And are we going to break through it? Uh, it might just shut off the rockets. Oh, Shut them off and they cut right back on. Hold on, going over the uh, little ripples behind it. Dude, that just cut right through it. That's actually kind of amazing. Okay, so Komodo's gonna need a bit of a breakdown. What is happening here? So this is our electrical layer. As far as like, hey, this is how this all works together. It looks like you can hook all the thrusters together. So basically we just have to copy this layer onto another ship. So we're gonna grab the RMS Titanic with power and here's its electrical layer. So I think I need to create just a completely new one. We'll leave the engines as is, that way it can just move normally. But if we go over here, look at this. We've got jet engines and there's a lot. There is a 10,000, actually there's a 5,000. No, it's a 1,000 and 5,000. 5,000 horsepower? Is that really what a jet engine is? Oh folks, I found 80,000. Um, okay, that should be enough, right? So I wanna place maybe a rocket in each of the uh, funnels. So we'll place them in there. I need to hook them all together via the engine transmission. Okay, I think I need to put them on a generator here, which we'll just kind of hook that in the middle. And then I just have to have a controller, I believe. And I believe this thing is going to take off and go to the moon. All right, so it's like a transformer. It's like the Titanic in disguise. It works normal like this. 
But if I were to go jet, uh, is this enough to actually lift it out of the water? Uh, here we go. Oh, oh, no, it was enough to break it in half. So I feel like it broke towards the front of the ship because there was no actual rocket thrusters there. So we're just going to add another one here to the front and we're going to try to lift this out of the water without breaking it. Let's kind of gradually do this. Wait, why is my front thruster not turning on? Well, it might. Oh, it actually, I think it breaks and disconnects itself. All right, here we go. Full speed. Yep. Another catastrophic failure. All right, when in doubt, add more rockets. So as you can see from the bottom, we've uh, we've added a couple uh, extra little dials here. I think these are all hooked together. Here we go. We okay. So I think I've officially broken something besides the Titanic. So before we continue, I'm gonna maybe make this into a different application. Let's try maybe a plane first. Uh, go with something a bit smaller. Also, how are we going to take this off? I'm going to have to move this thing up. But yeah, let's maybe go shrink down before we try to move something huge like the Titanic. And let's just try something simple like the plane. Okay, so I'm thinking about going with the right uh, jet. So we'll have that. And then maybe we'll have a little smaller one uh, to create lift. Uh, that way we can... Here, let's go maybe... Uh, let's go with a thousand on the front. So that should create lift in order to lift and make it go forward, I think. Either that or I have it backwards. One or the other. I'm not really sure. All right. For science, let's drop it. And, uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, hold on. Did I really put those on backwards? Let's go. Yep. Yep. The, uh, the thruster that's supposed to push it forward is officially on backwards. Yeah, that's not too good, is it? Okay, here we go. All right, so the up works and oh, the side works. It just doesn't stay on very long. I think I have to actually, do I have to hold that down? Uh, oh, it's got like an on off switch. It dies really quick. Okay, reset it. Uh, no, nope, that is not gonna work. That needs to be on a, just a straight up throttle. Uh, but I think this is the progress that we were needing here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and throttle both of these up. Uh, I think four is the back one, so let's resume. Uh, what do we have here? Okay, it's totally working. Hold on, drop the front a little bit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we have a death spiral. Hold on. Oh, no, we want to go this way. It is turning over. I mean, it works uh, a little bit. Oh, look, we're gonna save it here. Oh. <laughs> It just crashed into the water. So here's a question. What if you grab the Goodyear blimp and added rockets to it? That's a good idea. It's full of helium. It won't explode, I don't think. Well, what in the heck did I do wrong here? So I've hooked this one up exactly like I've hooked the others up. Uh, I've done this a couple times now, and my Goodyear blimp is not working. Komodo is not very satisfied. Uh, you know what happens when I'm not satisfied? We stick a, uh, a heat lamp to it. Uh, okay. Is this one not filled with explosive gas? Oh, it might be the Hindenburg. The more heat it gets in it, the higher it goes. Well, I think we fixed the problem. We didn't need jets in this at all. We just needed to catch it on fire. Uh oh, I think it's starting to turn on. Keep the, keep the heat in. Uh, it's got to heat it up. We're going to send it to space here. This is perfectly acceptable. Dude, look how high we are in the sky. Like, I don't even see the ocean anymore. Um, on, heat it back up towards the front. There we go. Uh, I think there's a chance it might break apart here in a second, but we're fine. I just got to counter heat on each side. Uh, that way I can keep it nice and stable here. Okay, we better pretend like this didn't happen. There we go. Thanos snap. That was absolutely beautiful. Okay, we're doing it. We're going to give the Titanic pretty much infinite propulsion. Uh, so we're going to go with the biggest engine we have, which is the, uh, the 8,000. I think I might have been calling it 80,000 earlier, but that's fine. It's close enough. I mean, that's not that big of a number as far as being off. I mean, it kind of is, but you know, we're, we're good. All right. So we are ready for our maiden voyage here. Uh, let's see. Throttle. Um... Komodo didn't totally put the uh, the thrusters on the wrong side. Wait, does this even work? Is this is this enough to push it? Uh, that's the the bell. Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, it's more than enough to push it. Uh, we just ripped it in half again. Okay. No to self. Aim the thrusters the other way. Thrusters are now aimed the right way. That's one notch up. Let's go another notch. It only takes two notches to move this thing. 
Dude, this is way more efficient than the normal Titanic. Like, we are booking it right now. Okay, so that's about half throttle there. Uh, the ship is so... Oh, it's gonna break in half. Oh, the, the front half's still moving. Is it even sinking? Did it... Wait. There is a chance that it broke right on where the watertight doors are. And the front part of this thing is completely fine. So, hey, if you booked your tickets in the front half of the Titanic, <laughs> you're good. Uh, so this music is so epic when it comes to sinking. Okay, it's got to be the whole fact that I've got too much maybe in the back. So let's do another set in the front. Okay, so now I have, uh, I have two throttles hooked up. So let's go the front one, and then we're going to go one up on the back. Okay, let's go one more notch in the front. Now it's moving. Let's go one in the back. I'm hoping this makes it to where it doesn't snap in half. So we have a little bit more even throttle uh, distribution, even though it still kind of sucks. Okay, now we need to go ahead and throw a tsunami at it because for fun reasons. Yep, the game has officially triggered every tsunami behind us here. Oh, this is going to be very, very unpleasant. Oh, there's a big wave in front of us. Eh, that wasn't too bad. I really think it would cut right through them. And there's the wall. <laughs> I kind of feel like here, I've got the game pause. Let's just go full speed on both sides and just see what happens. All right. Yep. That's about what I expected. Don't do that. So it seems like we're about at like half throttle on each side. I'm going to try to get a tsunami to appear in front of us because I want to see if it jumps it or not. Here we go. All right. We got a gigantic one in front of us right now. So slowly throttle up. Okay, let's go up another notch on our speed. Beautiful. And slams right through it and takes off. Oh, it doesn't really take off. Okay. Well, I did not make that tsunami proof. I mean, I'm not very good at making the ships fly, but we can say we at least attempted this here today. 